Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at Back to the Future. This is Doc Brown, the deluxe edition of 1-6 scale figure, highly detailed, articulated by Hot Toys, one of the market leaders in the 1-6 scale action figure market. Their boxes, looking at the artwork, always, always top notch, along with their figures. You can kind of see it's got the, you know, the logos in the back. You saw the, the DeLorean, the image in the DeLorean on the front, very striking packaging. So these are definitely collectible pieces that you if you, you would definitely want to keep the box i always keep the box and most collectors do put them in there you can see that the logo carries out forth and the, the bottom and the top of the box as well um but yeah I, I just figured you know i haven't i didn't i missed out the first version of doc brown i figure i'll i'll, I'll take a look at the, the the new version here it is so as we move that really nice artwork inlay piece you can kind of see all the different accessories that are included with this figure I mean, they spared no expense. I mean, everything is in here that Doc Brown in the movie that you saw back in the 80s, that classic, has everything. You know, as we move this first little tray here, I will take, we'll take a closer look at each of the tools as we get in, into the video. There's, you can just kind of see the overview, the wrenches, the, the little tool bag, the duct tape, flashlight, presser wrenches, you name it. It's all in there. The detail is pretty phenomenal, as always. So... But we'll, we'll take a closer look at those. Um, we'll take those out in a little bit. But let's get to um, actually, let's take a look at, you know, take out the, the whole clamshell piece. And let's take a look at the instruction sheet next. And you can see there are always instruction sheets always taped to the sides like that. And uh, we'll take a quick look and kind of kind of peruse it real quick. And there's so many accessories, the way to, you know, describe how to put them on and so forth. But you can kind of see it's all, uh, it's a fold out. And you can see there is the, Plutonium, the case, that's a deluxe only um, version, only has this case. So that's kind of exclusive to this deluxe edition of Doc Brown is this case with the plutonium. And there's one removable one that's come separate and does have all the little, um, as we turn this right side up, you kind of see all the different tools where they put everything in, you know, in its pockets, the tool belt with the tools and stuff. And you can kind of see the portable printer to the right with the pouch. We'll look at those, all those accessories here as we unbox Doc Brown. You can kind of see more again. The remote, you can see the screwdriver, you can see the stopwatch, even for the stopwatch for Einstein. That's a separate uh, little figure that comes with the new Marty, uh, Doc, Marty McFly, and I'll, we'll be doing a video on, on him shortly after this one. I'll, I'll do dip, we'll do a different one. But looking at the remote, gosh, there's such detail on that. Look at that thing. I mean, just all the little detail, the painting. I mean, it's just miniature. I mean, every, you know, the labels in the back, very, very, very nicely done. I mean, the the little wires, they're all, I mean, you would think so detailed they would actually put real wires in there, but just, I mean, just enough with the detail. It's, it's really nice. Um, the one thing I think, like I said, about this piece, nicely detailed. The antenna, you can see it's plastic. I almost kind of wish they had made that antenna metal. I mean, it's definitely fragile and very prone to breakage. Um, so that is... One thing I would wish they had, with all the amount of detail in this, that antenna, you know, it's just a plastic, um, it's made of plastic. Everything's made of plastic. So looking at the watch, again, more detail. And you kind of see even the little time on there, the little the LCD, little, the little LED, um, or not LCD or whatever. The face, you can see the time in there. It's made of rubber, the band. Um, here's the other watch. It's pretty much made of a plastic rubber. You can kind of see it's malleable. And then there is another... Stopwatch with the even with the cord. I mean, even it's flexible. You can see, look at that. yeah, the detail on this. Very nice, very nice for sure. I mean, even the string in there that's also also attached to it. So, and there's another stopwatch that's uh, another great accessory if you want to put on Einstein if you do have that accessory. And there is a nice looking pouch where you can put the portable printer into. So yeah, I mean, look at the cloth, just nice and soft. A little metal grommet there. I'm sure the little We'll put a little one of the little accessories will attach to that and we'll put all we'll put all this together and show the figure near the end everything put together and what you know all the, all its places and there is the portable printer as i mentioned earlier nice little detail very simple um but yeah just a nice little another little piece and you just put that in that pouch which we showed earlier and there is a little Pack of pins, you put it in this pocket, nice, more detail, nice little detail there. You can see the pins, they're just the, the caps. And here are some stickers, some optional stickers. You put it in the, you can put one in the plutonium case. And these are little plastic, um, unique things that can hold up the lid for the case. And here is some more of his notepads. We'll kind of take a, let's we'll take a quick look at this notepad. I mean, down to the detail of each individual page with a little, 
the little lines yeah I mean that's yeah that's definitely very very nice very detailed and some more chart stuff he's got other little um, other little accessories that's that you know with his clipboard right there that Doc, Doc Brown had in the in the movie I seen in the movie um, more detail on there very nice and here is the plutonium handle with care very nice the where the latches everything are the latches and everything in the sides the handle it's all plastic the rest is almost like a I don't know it's it could be like it's almost like a cardboard kind of with a unique kind of printed piece of, that's kind of overlaid the the, the the soft cardboard I guess it's kind of it's sturdy not super soft but you can never tell the, the the case itself is not made of plastic it's made of a carbon fiber cardboard whatever you want to call it you mean or, or yeah you know, cardstock or something a little more sturdy but with a print on it as we open it up you can see the inside it does have a little foam in the inside and does these little nice little fabric uh, pieces that hold up the lid help the lid but like I say you can put those little plastic inserts to hold that lid and you can see each of the plutoniums those are pretty much glued in there they don't you can't remove those but they there is a separate one I'll show you that you can actually you know, make it put to put it in there and that you can actually display it out but yeah those are all secured here and they don't actually come out which is kind of cool they did come out but yeah just the detail on that is definitely very very nice for sure but yeah that's that's an part of the deluxe edition is that here are all the tools I'm gonna just kind of not gonna go each individual one but I'll just kind of show you just you know an over over view you can see in detail all the different tools in there and here's a, just only two hand poses pretty much he's got the two hands on him that comes with the figure plus those two and there is the stand Pretty much standard with the logo with his name on the, the name plate there. But just a pretty much normal standard 1 6 scale base that Hot Toys does and even other manufacturers and even um, that do so. And there's some extra little wrist pegs. So those are those are actually prone to breakage. So it's nice that Hot Toys does include those as well. So if you break one of those pegs, you've got an extra. But looking at the sculpt, oh man, it's just very very nicely done i mean just the paint i mean everything about that i mean it's that is a really good looking sculpt of doc brown i mean just a it's kind of interesting they didn't really do a, a born kind of like straight face kind of showing like a, his you know one of his famous you know looks i guess exp expressions i'm um, looking at the, the the suit overall just a really really nice looking figure you know and i'll kind of go over each piece and kind of in more detail but yeah even the back you got the little radiation logo in the back um, but yeah, even he's got his shirt under there. This is kind of famous, and the little zippered little little suit there in his pockets. Man, that is just a great looking figure. I mean, I just can't get over that that head sculpt. It's just a really nice looking head sculpt, and it does got some some limited articulation. It does within the that suit. It does actually you can pose him in certain ways. But I mean, once you put all those accessories on there, it's gonna it's gonna be you know it's only certain many poses you can probably put this figure in that's kind of reminiscent of the, the actual film but yeah this is yeah, just a, I mean the fabric everything about it so let's now let's take take these little plastic um, pieces off that, that protect during the shipping and kind of get more nitty-gritty into the figure and get some close-ups kind of showing that that head sculpt but yeah look at the shirt there yeah just a just a good looking figure I mean I just I just can't go over that head sculpt I mean that head sculpt is just just great I mean I'll, like I said we'll take a close-up look at the closer look at that head scope but yeah just kind of getting kind of see with the movement within the, the actual suit that's got some good decent range of movement for the, the arms the elbows so yeah you can kind of bend them pretty good yeah like I said it's you know, like I said you can see even the thighs up there so yeah I mean this it kind of limited would be limited to kind of make them a full sit sit down a full sit down pose with that that suit but yeah, I mean, yeah, just a nice, good range of motion. Even the ankles with the shoes, in the more detail, just a nice looking. Definitely, even the soles of the shoes look pretty good too, as well. Yeah, just a good looking figure. Let me just, just kind of get a close up. Let's get a close up look at this 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 portrait here. Yeah, look at that. I mean, the eyes, super lifelike. You would think it had the the rotating eyes. You can move his eyes like the most of Hot Toys deluxe figures, but they don't move. Um, uh, but yeah, just that expression is, is pretty classic, man. I mean, I'm glad they actually did that for Doc Brown and this figure. I mean, it's, you, like I said, you never see too many expressions of just, you know, a normal pose, but
But for Doc Brown's character, that's just a great classic expression that they included. I'm glad Hot Toys did that. So, but yeah, look at that. Man, I mean, that's just, yeah, yeah that is just a great looking portrait of, uh, uh, yeah, that is definitely a great looking portrait for sure. But yeah, look at the details. You even got the, you know, the pocket little, I don't know what those, the, got, it looks like little bobby pins. It's like he's got some uh, little pins on, on the side of that where the orange, where the pocket is. Pretty cool little detail there. Close up look at the suit as well. Some of the tailoring. Very clean, great looking figure. Here is the figure all put together, everything on there. Just a nice figure. So glad that, you know, I was able to pick this up. I'm a huge fan of the Back to the Future franchise. Love that movie. And I do have one of the original Marty uh, McFly's that they did years ago. And then I did pick up their, their, their new version of it that includes the Einstein. And we'll do a video of that one, uh, one of the next vi videos down in, in my channel. So keep an eye on that. And um, But yeah, there it is with the plutonium case, open, displayed, and everything else to it. So hope this video is definitely, you know, informant, entertaining. And as always, thank you for watching. And do please consider subscribing to the channel. Keeps this channel going. Keeps me motivated. Hit that notification bell for new videos. I do put new ones. And hit that like button. It, does, it definitely helps the algorithm. And also it helps this channel and me to put more content. Till the next one, take care.